tell us something about this place, the peak. What is it all about? The peak is a uh, when you know when you say the peak is the top of everything. You understand? Mm -hmm. So the name given to the place is derived from the position it has in the Gulf. Because uh, yeah. you can see we are on top of uh, the Gulf. <laughs> yeah. The Gulf course is down there. Why this place is the peak yeah. of it? The purposely the peak is was you use as a the Gulf uh, clubhouse. Okay. You know when the Gulfers finish with the last hole, this is where they come relax and enjoy themselves. You know, golfing and uh, entertainment goes That's along right. the yeah. side by side. So this is where they relax. But because of the new redesigning of the golf course, okay. the peak as we, the golf course, the, the peak is now used for, we are proposing it for a jazz club. Wow. Very soon it will take off a jazz club where people can come and relax. It doesn't necessarily means that you should be a golfer yeah. before you can come here and relax okay. so the, that is what we are proposing the peak for whereas the clubhouse is proposed to have to to be at the status point there okay at the beginning where you see of where you start the golf uh, golf game at okay. the other side there okay. so basically the peak is going to come up very soon as a jazz uh, Jazz club. Jazz club. Yes, that sounds yes. interesting. Yeah. So, 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 when when we have the jazz club on ground now, yes. does it mean that um, only golfers can come in here? No, 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 no. I can just stroll in here. We have relax. Abel Kuta Golf Resort encompasses a lot of uh, resort activities. Okay. Do you understand? It's only that everything revolves around the golf. All right. So, what other facilities do we have around here? We have a lot of other facilities. Uh, that are already on ground and some coming up very soon. Okay. Like uh, there's going to be a Luara water park <coughs> such that people around there it is going to be a, what, a facility that will be probably one in the country. Do you mm -hmm. understand? It's going to be like some people that have been to uh, Disney and all those other places. When you come around, that is all you have. Very soon you come around and see the Nabi Okuta Gov Resort, the water park, where children, adults, everybody can come and have fun. So that is one of the facilities that is coming up. Right out there you see the equipment. Okay. Equipment are on ground, so, okay. those things, the equipment are on ground, and it is coming up very, very soon. Then also, we have a, what we call the Transit Lodge. Okay. The transit lodge is a place where you, it's like, as the name implies, transit is a place where you come, probably you, you don't stay in Abekuta, but okay. you want to come and have fun and relax. Yes. It's a place where you stay, like, okay. yeah, relax and have your, or some people, some golfers might decide to travel down from wherever, you Lagos, stay over, or stay over okay. enjoy your game, then you relax, you, you don't have the hustle of, where am I going to stay? stay where am yeah. I going to? So it's like you want it to be in the same uh, okay. environment. Okay. So that is one. Then we have uh, the lake where you can do uh, the lake uh, uh, right. cruise, lake okay. cruise, and all those things. <laughs> the facilities are there. Okay. You will see our little little boats that okay. you use for cruising. Then uh, coming up also, we have uh, we we have uh, like uh, the Ladubo. Oh, I will tell you the history of the, the, the lake that we have because okay. it's, a, it's an artificial lake. It comes from a very small and tiny stream. Do you understand? Okay. So our Amebu chairman, Shive Oluwale, uh, Olumide, Apago Oluwale Olumide, yeah, was the one that conceptualized it and felt this something could be achieved from this uh, tiny stream. And that is what you see today as a okay. big, uh, big lake. So then we have... Uh, if you, if you want to come for fishing, you have a lot of species of uh, really fishes. yes inside yes. the lake inside the lake. Oh. So if you want to come for fishing, that is also part of what is on ground okay. presently. Okay. When you get there, you see that. Then we have what we call uh, the rock beach. Okay. The rock beach is a is is a place. The rock beside the lake. Do you understand? Okay. It is the natural rock beside the lake. Okay. Where you can sit down. Okay. When you get there, you will see you, you see it. You yeah. see it. You appreciate what I'm talking about because it's only when you see it visibly that you appreciate it. We are presently at the rock beach, and um, you can see this beautiful sight right behind me.
Mr. Shegun, why is this place called the Rock Beach? The Rock Beach, given to it, is uh, because uh, the lake beside the water. I mean, the rock beside the water. The water. When you say a beach is a place close to the seashore, the seashore. Yeah. But this one, why we give, give the name to this one is because uh, this rock, as you are seeing it, is like it's beneath the soil. Okay. This rock you are seeing is beneath the soil. It was uh, discovered under when we were working on this place. So this rock was discovered under the the soil. Soil. So we had to remove the top soil and everything. Really? That is where we get this rock you are seeing. So, and you can see it is a natural rock. Nobody nobody brought it here. Okay. You understand? It's, it's natural. The this is the lake. Yeah. That came from the. The the mystery Ladubo mystery, mystery spring, spring that you saw at the other end. Yeah. So this is the outcome of it. Yeah. You understand? So the it's lake. Beautiful. This is this is this is part of uh, what we are showcasing at the Abekuta Golf Resort. At the other side there, we have an event arena. Okay. Do you understand? Alright. Event arena where people come, hold marriages, okay. uh, uh, social gatherings, and a lot okay. of events. Mm -hmm. So that is all we have here. This is the gazebo. Mm. So where gazebo. people, this one is permanently here for people that comes often to relax. Relax, yeah. You know, you can take see some shots, people you know, taking their palm wine. Uh, exactly. <laughs> so this all is right. what we have at the rock beach. Okay. So, so in the lake, what and what do we have? I can see. I have so many yeah. creatures there. Okay. Different kind of uh, fishes. Okay. Tilapia. Uh, we have a particular one brought from Israel. We call it uh, Bangashias. Bangashias. Yes. Bangashias from Israel. Yes. We have <laughs> a one we call Patch. Patch. Yes. Then we have a Terotis and so many, so many, so many. So many. So do you do harvest them? Do you harvest the we fishes? Do, we do harvest them. Okay. Do. So what do you do with them? <laughs> <laughs> That's a very funny question. <laughs> what they do with fish? No, do you all. sell? Do you call people around? Come, yeah. we've just have a stead. Come, we, celebrate with us. Things like that. Have a, since you know we have a bar, we have a kitchen here. Okay. So the fish we get here is what we use in there. Really? In the kitchen. Yeah. So if I'm so fortunate to come then during your for, harvest, for the people that, of course, for the picnickers. Okay. If you want to go fishing, you are allowed. Oh, Whatever wow. you get from there. We weigh it and give you the price for it. Wow! Yeah, so Are you you give discounts or you just give the price and then we give we give you the price, the normal price. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Wonderful. All right. So before I leave today, I'm gonna have some um, some um, there's no, you know. There's no problem. You're gonna treat me. <laughs> there's no problem. Some kind of tilapia. What else do we have here? Like you, can't, you can't go. You can't go on the water yourself. <laughs> oh, do you have to? Okay. Okay. What do you do that for me? You can see the inscription somewhere around there that's. Uh, it's a deep water. Yeah, you understand? How deep it is? is it's it? about uh, some part of it. You get up to 12 feet down. 12 feet, 12 feet down, yeah. then some 15 feet. There it was. Wow. Then, though, we have some shallow ends. Okay. We have some shallow ends, like up, up there. Up there. Mm. Behind this, uh, this little yeah. island you are seeing yeah. is a shallow part. Okay. Then at the other side there, we are still planning to cut that out for people that want to swim and enjoy themselves. But oh. we, there will be an indication. We have a lifeguard. Okay, as well. so they won't go beyond. They won't go beyond okay. the, because of uh, really? the deepness of the water. Wow, so. this is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. So very beautiful. Yeah. I'm child of Akpagun Oluwale Olumide. Okay. He was the one that conceptualized it. The entire place. The entire place. He looked at it. You know, when you have something that that is within your reach and you now look at it, what can I do with this thing? Mm. You know, he was the one that came out with the idea, the rock beach, mm. the lake itself. Do you understand? Yeah. He was the one that came out with and this is what we have now. Okay. So uh, what about the boats? I can see some boats. Yeah, now. yeah, it's for the boat cruising. Okay, for the boat cruising, cruising, boat cruising wow. for people so that want to go. go Some people will come here and even probably relax on the water. Wow. You no know, sleep on the water inside the boat. Really? So you enjoy yourself. That would be nice. Even though we have some foreigners. Okay. From some uh, uh, British national, then some Americans and whatever that comes come here. here. 
for tourists or uh, whatever. So they, they do stay here. They have their camp here. They come with their camp. They have their camp here and enjoy themselves. 